Welcome to Tutorial Tidbits. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite techniques for hand painted collage paper and that is the soap spray resist. How I create the soap bubble resist is I take about a tablespoon of Dawn dish liquid and a small travel size sprayer. I fill it up with water, enough so I have room to shake and create bubbles, and then I spritz it into golden fluid acrylics to create a beautiful speckly pattern. Now there are a few variables with this technique. You can change the size of your sprayer. A larger sprayer will disperse more water and you'll get a large pattern and a smaller sprayer will disperse less water and you'll get a tinier pattern. You can always change the distance from the soap sprayer to the paper. So if you lift the sprayer further away and let it mist down or if you spray it closer, you're going to get different effects. So there's a lot of variables which requires a lot of practice. So if you've got a few minutes, let's go experiment. Welcome back. Today I'm going to demonstrate the soap bubble spray resist. I've got a soap spray atomizer that I got uh, on Amazon. It's a little travel spray container. I've filled it with water and one tablespoon of Dawn dish liquid. I've got golden fluid acrylics in quinacridone, nickel, ozo gold, and naples yellow, my gel press, gel monoprinting plate, and a brayer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a sheet of old book pages. So I've got these old inserts from some kind of a binder. I'm going to look for a page that doesn't have a lot of black copy on it. Let's use this one. So I've got an old book page and my first step is to apply a very thin layer of Naples yellow to my gel plate. So I'm going to put a few drops out, not too much, and I'm going to brayer it in a nice thin layer. And I'm going to take my book page and I'm going to pull a solid print of Naples Yellow. So I've got a nice lower layer of a light solid Naples Yellow. Now to give this a little bit more visual interest, I'm going to go and put a little bit more of a second color on it. I'm going to do a little interference gold from golden fluid acrylic. This is going to give it a gold shimmer, but not a necessarily a gold color. So I'm going to put a little bit of that out. Brayer that over the plate. Then I'm going to take my Naples yellow sheet and give it a little bit of shimmer with that interference gold. So now I've got a light, sort of shimmery Naples yellow lower layer. So I'm going to put my gel plate off to the side, and now I'm going to mix up that Nickel Ozo Gold to go over the top and apply the soap spray to. So I'm going to squeeze out a little bit of that right on the plate, and I'm going to use a watery, I've got my, my water bucket here, and about a one to one and a half inch brush. I'm putting a lot of water in it and I'm just gonna sort of mix that with my Ozo Gold right here on the plate. I'm gonna get it nice and watery and then I'm gonna work quickly to brush it across the surface of our gel print. Now I am in Florida where it is hot so I have to work really fast so that I don't let this layer dry before I get those soap bubbles in it. So working very quickly and then I'm going to shake up the soap, back it up and spritz it from afar. And there you see the soap spray pushes the nickel Ozo gold away, revealing the yellow layer that's underneath. Now I'm going to take another sheet that I previously printed this morning with my gel plate. This has got a little bit of um, quinacridone magenta and Naples yellow sort of modeled and blended on it. And I'm going to use another darker color over the top of that one. I'm going to use a little permanent violet dark and I'm going to mix that up right here with my brush and some water. Get a nice watery mixture and I'm going to brush that working quickly keeping it wet over this previously printed gel print. Then I'm going to shake up my soap bubble and spritz. 
that really looks lovely. So now you can see I've got a nice dark purple bubbly pattern over that light mottled yellow and quinacridone ozo gold. So that is the soap spray resist. You have to play with it. Um, you have to change up, if it doesn't work for you, change the paper that you're using, change the color combination that you're using, and change the amount of water that you're using. Those are the three variables that you need to change in order to get better or different results. Because remember, it's all about experimenting and you never get the same results twice.